In this video, I wanted to share my experience and favorite features of the DJI Osmo Action 4. I've been mostly using it with my e-bike, wandering around or simply using this tiny camera for fun. First of all, a quick unboxing. I have the Adventure Combo, Biking Accessory Kit and ND Filter Set. The Adventure Kit comes with three batteries, a battery charging case, an extension rod, two locking screws, a protective frame, curved adhesive tape, a few adapter mounts, a lens hood, USB Type-C cable and some paperwork. One of the key selling points of the Action 4 is 65% larger image sensor compared to the Action 3. In theory, it should increase dynamic range, exposure latitude and obviously low light performance. Other key camera specs up to 4K 120fps video recording, 155 degrees field of view and f2.8 aperture lens. I mostly use this camera on my e-bike at 4K 60fps resolution at the widest 11 or wide 12mm setting. The standard image stabilization setting is rock steady, which is more than enough for a nice and stable footage. The Rocksteady Plus stabilizes the footage even more but that is done at the expense of a significant image crop so I didn't use it much as the bike handlebar doesn't even fit into the shot. The overall video quality is very good, definitely one of the best in the action camera category. I love the level of detail, sharpness, the colors are pretty much what you see is what you get which is pretty awesome and the dynamic range is pretty good. The basic Rocksteady stabilization performs really well in all scenarios, when the camera is mounted on the chest and even on the bike handlebar, which usually vibrates a lot. That's why I didn't even use the Rocksteady Plus. Also, the footage looks very stable if you simply start walking with the camera mounted on your chest. For comparison, here is how the video looks like with the Rocksteady feature turned off. I use the camera in auto settings as this is what most users do. If you need editing flexibility, there is 10-bit D-Lock support. The 4K 30fps footage looks even better but obviously it is recommended to use this mode only for slow moving scenes unless you are okay with some less smooth footage in fast moving scenes. The 4K 120fps footage looks really good when slowed down in post. The level of detail and the overall quality is pretty incredible for a camera this small. If you plan on using the Action 4 for vertical video, simply use the camera with a protective frame to attach it in the vertical position and start recording. The device automatically switches to vertical video recording mode. Once you get used to the sharpness of 4K, 1080p 240fps footage looks a little bit soft and quite noisy. For me, 4K 120fps is more than enough for slow motion and I recommend this setting to most users for the best image quality. In low light, there is some visible noise and the footage does not look as good as in DJI's promo videos but keep in mind that I filmed these shots in dimly lit paths. The low light 4K 30fps footage looks better but the 60fps video is surprisingly good too. Overall, the video quality is very good and probably the best I've personally seen coming out of an action camera thanks to that large image sensor. Still images also look very good with plenty of detail and sharpness and natural color reproduction. The design of the camera hasn't really changed much since the last generation. It's nice and compact, we have a record key on the top, a power button as well as a USB Type-C port on the left, the battery door on the right side and a mounting point on the bottom. I love the excellent build quality of the Action 4. The device feels robust and built to last and it is waterproof up to 18 meters underwater without the case. The magnetic attachment system is still one of the best I've used. It's super quick and easy to change the angle of the camera by attaching it to different accessories. Both touchscreen displays are easily viewable outdoors. Also, the front screen is very convenient when framing the shot. I like the button layout and the touchscreen interface is responsive and easy to use. Basically, everything can be done by swiping. You can also adjust quite a few settings of the camera. The quick switch button is super convenient too as it allows you to quickly switch between different shooting modes. You can control the camera remotely using the DJI Memo app. You can see the live view, change the modes and settings, download videos and so on. The battery is deep freeze resistant and it is set to last up to 160 minutes on a single charge but that is achievable only if you record in 1080p 30fps resolution. 
I use the camera mostly in 4K 60fps mode and while the real life battery endurance was a lot shorter, it was more than enough for a 2 hour e-bike ride with on and off recording. I didn't need to use the extra batteries that I threw in the backpack. I like this convenient storage case that shows the juice left in each battery. The case can be used together with the batteries as a power bank to charge other devices like a smartphone. Overall, my experience with the DJI Osmo Action 4 has been great. It offers excellent video quality for the e-bike videos and its low-light performance is the best I've personally seen on an action camera. With a starting price of 429 euros in the EU, it is not cheap but given the quality of image, the feature set and ease of use, I think this is one of the best action cameras you can get at the moment but tell me in the comment section down below, would you choose the Action 4, the last generation Action 3 or the latest GoPro? So tell me in the comment section down below what you think, also like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always, it was Linus. Thank you for watching and see you soon.